Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have tried out a new proxy site for Makari and this proxy site is called 8 Mart Japan and I have the package here. I bought seven items and I wanted to just do a little review of this website and see how it compares to Bai. So let's get straight ahead and open up this package. Okay, so we have a small box of items here. I mainly bought photo cards because I wanted to just buy everything that was the same size and I wanted to see how much shipping was. So 8Mart is an interesting website because um, you can only get 15 listings at a time sent to your warehouse for free. And after that, they either charge you a fee or you can get those 15 items shipped. So the shipping is definitely cheaper than Bai because the box is really small. If you guys remember my old Bai videos, they would ship it in a giant box, even with just photo cards. Um, so for seven items, the shipping was 4,700 yen, which includes all of the taxes, and that's about $50 Australian. So it's roughly $7 per item, which is not too bad compared to Bai. Um, and it's a good option, I think, if you want specific items that are only available on Makari and you can't find it on Nyoko, because the shipping per item for Nyoko is about 2 to $3 compared to $7 for this. So let's go ahead and open up this box. Okay, so I can see that the packaging is very good. They've used this air type of bubble wrap. So let's take this out. All right, so everything was enclosed in this bubble wrap. And then these are all of the items that I got. So you can see it's a pretty small package. So only seven things and they are all flat items so I can move this box to the side now alrighty and then you can see from this packaging I think it's pretty good um, I will open this up in a bit but yeah the bubble wrap is obviously wrapped all around I think it's pretty secure as secure as can be so let's open up this one okay and then I'm gonna take everything out So I'm going to talk about why I decided to switch to 8Mart rather than going back to Bai for Makari. And the main reason is Bai's shipping fees are like super, super expensive. Um, it was used to be $300 shipping for any amount of items, which I think is kind of ridiculous. This one, at least you can kind of control how much the shipping is because it seems like they personalize the box size compared to which items you get, which I think is really good. And basically for this seven items that I got, they are all items that are not available on Neokyo. So Neokyo is the partner for Rakuma now, since they are not the partner for um, Makari anymore. And there's definitely some cards that I couldn't find on Rakuma and then I wanted to go to Makari and get them and that's why I decided to try out 8Mart as a proxy this time. Okay, so this is everything that I got. There was like two slightly larger things. So we've got this June acrylic stand. Then we got this Lido postcard and photo card set for Seasons Greetings. And then everything else that I got was photo cards. So I got, um, got a lot of rare photo cards. So this Chip June. And 
and then I got this um, I think it's like a hoodie photo card from their most recent home collection this sold out the hoodie sold out really quickly sorry which means that the photo cards that came with the hoodie were basically impossible to get and I got um, this one we make you again really really hard to get I don't know why the earlier Japanese album photo cards are so hard to get then I got Jun's dream carrot version photo card again it's something that's really really difficult to get um, and hard to get for a good price as well and next thing I got was actually a J set for Stacy. Um, so another interesting thing about Neokure Rakuma is that for the less popular groups it's also hard to find listings on there so sometimes it's good to go to Makari and for a lot of the like slightly smaller girl groups or like rookie groups um, Makari will have more stuff And I think something interesting about this packaging from um, Makari slash 8Mart is that I got a lot of top loaders um, and actually for the past couple of Neo curves that I've done I didn't really get any top loaders because um, I don't know why they just come like with cardboard and plastic rather than actual top loaders so normally I get most of my top loaders from Makari slash Neoko slash Rakuma. Um, so it was really weird not to get any top loaders because I was starting to run out of top loaders. So I am super grateful that they, that like every single listing came with a top loader basically. And even the postcards came with top loaders. So yeah, I guess we can have a look at everything that I got now. So first off, we have. Um, Got this J set. So this is from We Need Love. I don't know why We Need Love photo cards are so hard to find. Got um this photo card I needed, and then it also came with this circle card, which is like a nice bonus, I guess. Then we got Lido set. Um also for one us because they have so many POBs, so many um niche kind of photo cards. Um Makari will have more options because there's just more people that list things on Makari. So this is a, I think it's 2021 Seasons Greetings set and I think he looks so cute. <laughs> so that's why I got it. He looks really happy in this one. I don't know why. I got that. Then got a couple of June photo cards. Let's have a look at the carrot version. So, so, so cute. Or dream then there is a we make you album photo card then i got a legendary chip june i actually bought this one from a mutual on instagram recently because i kind of forgot that eight mart uh that i got this from eight mart but you know i've got another one which is good might do a giveaway or might sell it and i love this one so much the hoodie photo card from home 2022 and then next thing I got is this acrylic stand and I do want to actually build it now so I saw June in the suit with the black hair and I just knew that I had to get this one I have another acrylic stand and I'll grab it later after I build this one So we have the base of the acrylic stand, which is a really pretty translucent dark blue color. They, I feel like they don't normally do dark colors. It's kind of like royal blue. We have the stand. Love it. Pledis Sega China. Oh, interesting. All right. And then you just stand it like that. And there we have my little standee. And I'll grab the other one that I have just to compare the two concepts. 
Okay, so the other acrylic stand I have is this one. This one is from Hanabi last year and I like it because he also has the natural color hair. So that's the two of them and they are the same height. And the base, the Sega one is a little bit bigger on the base, but I don't really care about the base. Um, so yeah, super, super cute. So I'm really happy with this stand that I got. Okay, so these are all the items that I got from 8 Mart and I wanted to do some closing comments on what I think about 8 Mart so far. Um, I think in terms of customer service, like sending update emails and things and accessibility, it's slightly less accessible than Baiyi or Neocure is currently. And I think that's just because 8 Mart is a smaller website. The email updates are not very detailed and you can't really um, click on any links in the email. But I think also the fact that you can only get 15 items before they start charging fees, it's enough that you don't need a super detailed email to keep track of your items since you can only get 15 items anyway. And this is compared to Neocure before where I used to get up to 100 items every group order. And then obviously with a hundred items, you need a better way of like recording all the items. But I think cause 8 Mart has less items, you don't need such a big way of recording what you're getting. Another thing I think about 8 Mart is that the packaging is really good. The packaging is really a size appropriate, which means that the shipping is not too expensive. Definitely Baiyi would be the most expensive shipping. 8 Mart would be kind of mid tier expensive. And then Neocure would be the most affordable shipping. But I think um, since 8 Mart is like a mid-tier type of shipping, it counteracts with the fact that you get a lot of items and a lot of choice on Makari. So it's pretty good if there's just a couple of rare things or a couple of high priority items from Makari that you want to get. And that's another reason why I think 8 Mart is really good. And Everything arrived in really good condition and it was really, really fast shipping with DHL shipping. So I am very happy with 8 Mart and I would definitely use it again if I have just a couple of items that I want to get from Makari. So yes, these are all kind of high priority items that I wanted to get. So I'm very happy with this haul and I will see you guys in the next video. And I also think I might open some group orders for 8 Mart in the future. So definitely, if you're interested in that, go onto my Instagram and check out any group order posts that I might have in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.